So again, I got my tie-in point. I'm out here. I'm going to use another type of redirect. I've lanyarded it in. For most of my redirects, I use a short sling. I like one with multiple rated loops. This one is a Sterling chain reactor. I like it because it's very adjustable and each loop is rated accordingly. What I do is I pass it around the branch union that I've selected. The nice thing about this and one advantage is I'm girth hitching so I don't need a branch union. It can be put along any kind of limb. Um, but the downside is, is it's not retrievable. I have to climb back up to get it. I use this one for a lot, probably the majority of my redirects because I, again I break it into columns and then I come back up to work another column. So I've girth hitched my sling at an appropriate length. I can either just pass my line through, really simple, I haven't disconnected my system at all, um, but as I work away from this one, if I work out to the side, I can put a lot of force on a limb, a lot of side tension on a limb like that. So one of the ways I get away from that and it's something I have to be conscious of is by adding friction at the redirect point. I call them a dynamic redirect. The one I use the most is the Munter's hitch. And as I load it, it's gonna self balance between the limb and the tie-in point. There's still gonna be tension on this and here. And I find this makes a huge difference in the amount of sit back there is in my system when climbing out. And that's why I use this for most of my redirects. Now this works really well for an arborist grade knot um, line with static lines, more ascent lines that don't have a lot of stretch. They don't really take to the munchers very well. So what I'll do is I'll just put three wraps. And it's sort of the same concept as that we use with a porter wrap. So again, you can see that it'll self balance and self tension. And this works really well to avoid a lot of sit back. Again, the downside of these two redirects is that it's girth hitched and I have to go back up and retrieve it.